What's up guys? One half of the caper couple back and uh, just doing a little video by myself today. Uh, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like. So today's video guys is about something I just got by courier and this is going to help our channel out. And it's another drone guys, but it's a uh, I'm going to say professional drone because it, it really is, but uh, everybody takes this drone as it's a toy because it's under the weight limit to uh, register with the FAA. So, here's our box. We're going to unbox this. I've already wiped the box down, guys. This, uh, this came from China. I've already disinfected the box and uh, I'll clean everything off when I do get it out uh, and the video's up here just to make sure because stuff has been handled you know by so many people and so have a look inside you know, my camera's angled up a little bit here Let's hope the angle's right <coughs> So guys, as you can see, we have a Mavic Mini, made by DJI. So as I said, it's uh, just under the required weight limit, it weighs 249 grams. And there's an awful lot of unboxing videos and stuff and uh, review videos on this, this drone. And it's supposedly one of the best drones you can buy. Now, I've, I've watched reviews on this video, flight tests, and I've seen guys get over five kilometers in distance off of one battery. and But they just barely made it back to themselves with the battery drained down to zero. Now, I don't recommend you do that because it will flatten your battery and kill the battery altogether but yeah guys these these drones are amazing so we're gonna find out I'm gonna find out for myself how these drones are there you go there's how you open it and uh, you guys will uh, now start to see footage from this drone on our channel We've been using a Parrot Bebop 2 all along. Oh wow, look at this guys. So, there's the contents of the box. I'll place the camera back down here. First we'll take the drone out. Look at that guys, that's wicked. That is wicked, has a gimbal on it. 2K camera and a gimbal. Propellers. Propellers are a little flimsy, but uh, it's got sensors underneath, guys. Battery goes in the back. The battery on this machine is most of the weight of the machine. Now, I said the battery must be in it because the machine is pretty heavy right now. And uh, it's just an amazing little thing, guys. It's like the size of the palm of your hand. As you can see, it's the size of your hand. But I've uh, I've wanted this drone for a while. I really wanted this drone instead of the Parrot, but uh, just didn't have the have the funds and stuff to get it. So, but we saved up. We finally got it. Here's the remote, guys. DJI make the best products. Here's your remote. Now you open the remote and the two sticks are inside of it. It's got a, uh, a camera button, a film button. There's your uh, wheel to roll your gimbal up and down. See what you're looking at. Your two sticks to fly it. open see I'm, I'm new 
read with this one, guys. There we go. So it opens like this. Your phone goes in here. The phone fits right in the bottom. Your sticks, guys, your flight sticks, are right here. They're jammed inside the controller. And I believe you get a second set in the box. So your antennas. Your antennas clip up. They clip together. Now you want these set perpendicular to your craft. So when you're flying... this way okay, then you turn a certain way and I don't want to break anything but it seems like they only spin okay it must be like that so there's how you want them you want this facing your your craft it always has to face your craft you can't have your sticks like this because then you you won't get a signal very far you want to get the furthest reach with your craft, your sticks have to be like that, your antennas. So, pull out the uh, controls. These just screw on, guys. They screw on. I've watched an awful lot of reviews, and that's what made my decision up to, to get this, this drone. So there you go. Beautiful, uh, Beautiful piece of craftsmanship here. It's well made, very well made, guys. We have three, three battery in it so far. It's charged three quarter of the way up. Unfold antennas and mobile device clamp and attach control sticks and cable. So, win the box here further, and we have. Okay, we have another little box and some paperwork and then we're empty that's all that's in it well that's all you need so we have this flying with control Just some paperwork safety information Okay, some safety information, do's and don'ts, this one's in Chinese, it's got English in it, okay, it's just consumer law. in the box a quick start guide so we have a quick start guide and then we have a disclaimer and guidelines so this is your full booklet here guys and now we open the package here and we have charge cable an extra set of props An extra set of control sticks for your controller. Screwdriver. Oh, drop them. And uh, three different cables, depending on which phone you have. So there's like a, a lightning cable for uh, iPhone. There's a USB Type C and. A, that's the kind called that uh, Samsung takes. Um, USB Mini or something. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, guys, there's what you get in the box. We had a nine-minute video out of this. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down for a few minutes, get everything ready. We're gonna do a little comparison of the two machines. I'm gonna show you guys my Parrot and then the Mavic. So catch you in a bit, guys. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Um, I meant to finish this video two days ago now, but uh, I just
just couldn't come up with a phone that would connect to uh, the new drone. So I ended up tracking down an iPhone 8, but uh, now I'm waiting on a code to be sent from Apple so I can continue setting up the phone. So my plans for flying both drones and showing you guys what the two of them are like completely is busted. But you guys will eventually get to see that. So for now guys, I'm just going to show you both drones up close. Get this one out. See guys, I made up my own book bag to carry this in. So here's the parrot that we've been flying all along. I just had the battery off it. This cover just popped off the camera, but that's the parrot. You can see there's a camera inside the nose here, and I believe it's an electronic gimbal that turns the camera up and down. So you do that from the remote. And the remote's pretty big, it's a big bulky thing. So let's try to show you guys. I'm here sitting at my PC, there's the remote. There's a big bulky antenna on top of it. Excuse me, guys. And you can just picture how hard it is to carry this thing around, right? So, I'm uh, full of gas. I've been drinking coffee. So that's why I got a book bag. I went out and picked up a book bag. I uh, put foam inside of it and cut, cut the inside of the foam out to, sh to the shape of the parrot. And, uh, that's what I use to carry that around now. It makes things a lot easier. But I have something to mention here, guys. So, my buddy out in BC, he uh, started up a business for selling these uh, the masks and safety equipment for this COVID-19 crap going around. So anybody that uh, is around Canada or wherever, anywhere you can't find masks guys log on to www.buyfirstforward.com you'll get your personal protective equipment so i uh i told him i i'd do this for him on my channel and help him out so and it also helps everybody else out that can't find these masks because i know it's uh it's becoming hard to get them now because everything that is left around Canada is being held for uh, for the healthcare professionals. So I'll, uh, I'll also put the uh, link on the screen, guys. So back to uh, back to the drones. I know I already showed you guys the Mavic, but I'm gonna open it up. So your two uh, two front arms they fold out, and then you take your back arms and they fold down like so. So there's DJI's Mavic Mini guys, and compared to the big parrot I've been flying, look at that big difference. This one has to be registered with with the FAA. This one doesn't. This one weighs 500, yeah, I think it's 500 grams. This one weighs 249 grams. So anything weighing any more than uh, 250 grams, guys, has to be registered with the FAA to be able to fly it. And you have to go get a pilot's license for them. This one you don't. So buying this drone saves you... Uh, whole lot of hassle whole lot of hassle that's why we got it guys because there's uh, I, I looked on the map here when you open the uh, you open the app you can click on the map and it'll show you no fly zones the only no fly zone on this island is over near the airport so far 
that's what it showed so far so there's a remote again I'm not going to open it up because I already showed you guys that so yeah comparison between remotes guys big difference big difference so that's about it uh, you'll see some DJI Mavic Mini flights in our upcoming videos uh, won't be the next one though I have like another video or so left which I use the parrot but after that guys it's gonna be all Mavic Mini unless it's really really windy and I have to use the parrot because the Mavic Mini won't handle strong winds like the Parrot will. And uh, that's about it, guys. So I'm going to end it here, guys. Till the next one. Subscribe, comment, give us a like. Uh, we love reading the comments, guys. So, you know, feel free to comment. Make sure your post notifications are on and we'll catch you later.